With the recent surge in popularity for Project Zomboid, people keep on asking me, Coco, what are the best traits to pick? And yesterday, I have covered the best positive traits. Today, we'll look at the best negative traits, because some of them are free points, some of them are a trap, and some of them are just not the best. So, let's get in on this and let's begin. Once again, this is all going to be sorted by the points, how many points we'll be getting for this, because negative traits you know so we start with you get one point from this and this is sunday driver sunday driver i call a trap point why because sometimes you will be uh, let's say in a big horde driving through and with a sunday driver you cannot get you cannot get fast you will get stopped and you will get jumped and you will get eaten this is a trap trade but if you really need it at one point, sure, we'll put it on the C, see it's where it belongs. All right, second one is all thumbs. What do you do a lot in Project Zomboid? Transfer items from a container to your inventory. What does this trade do? It slows that down. So basically half of your gameplay is gonna be slower. This, bad trade. This goes into F. You only get two points for it, but it's a bad trade. You know what, fine, I'll put it on C. I'll put it in, the, it's not F, it's C trait, C tier trait, we'll put it in there. Now, next we have Clumsy. Clumsy, well, you just make more noise while you're moving. This one is not bad. If you're not playing a sneaky build, then this one is just fine. You know, you're gonna be fighting anyway, might as well. This is gonna be like a B tier trait. You only get two points for it, so it's not that amazing. So, hey, it's fine. Next thing we have Cowardly you get more panic. There is one build that actually favors this trait, right? If you take this and you take Adrenaline Junk and then you take Agoraphobic, Claustrophobic, something like that, they will be really moving fast using this. But in general and for players who are new to the game, this is not a good trait. Don't grab it. We'll just put it into C. Next on the list is Short Sighted. What does it do? Nothing. Currently, it does nothing for you. You get two points for it so three points s tier grab it while it's still hot next we have the slow reader this one look when you play single player you can just press speed up you play with this you get two free points you'll read slowly but it's fine in multiplayer you'll die of boredom using this one as i have mentioned before but single player this is strong a tier nothing wrong there now, next we have weak stomach, you get three points for this. You don't get much for it, right? Three points are not really that much. But all you have to do is don't eat crappy food. Just don't eat like crap food, like raw food or food that is rotten or something like that. And you'll be fine. You will not notice this. This A tier, definitely pretty much almost three points right there. Now, next we have, I think this one is agoraphobic. Yeah, this one is agoraphobic. This is the one when you get panic outdoors. Again, one build that this is actually useful. But you you have to remember, you'll be you'll be out there a lot. You know, you don't want to get panic. Now, sure, if you survive for like two months, this is almost gonna get cancelled out unless there's zombies nearby. I'll put this into like low B, maybe low B tier. And same goes for claustrophobic. This is you get panic indoors. You're probably not going to be spending that much time indoors, you know, but being panicked just because you can actually overcome these two traits with just surviving for a long time, it's not the worst. So I'll put them into B tier, even though they are low B, maybe high C tier. There you go. Next, we have conspicuous. So zombies will spot you more often. If you're playing a sneaky build, this one is clearly not the one you're gonna take, right? But otherwise, if you're just a normal person trying to fight, this is a solid trait. This is this is completely fine, right? You get you get four points for this. It's decent. I'll put it in the B tier. It's not the worst, but it's also not the best. Next, we have disorganized. Basically, containers we have less inventory space. This thing. If you have a small base, it's gonna be really annoying. If you have a big base, you're not gonna spot it, you're not even gonna notice it. To me personally, it's an annoying trait, I don't really like it. 
but I can see how in general it could be a decent trait. Maybe you get four points for it. For it. It's not the worst. I'll put it into B. Let's put it in B. Let's put it in like middle middle of the B tier. That seems fine. Now, hard of hearing. This just means you will spot zombies from behind and all that stuff. Uh, not as fast, you know. For new players, this is a death trap, probably. For people who play for a bit longer, like me, and for people who actually have good headphones, this is not a bad trade. I will actually put this into low A. For me personally, this is a low A tier uh, trade, 100%, definitely. The next we have hearty appetite. You say, hey, you know, there's a, there's a lot of food out there. You mentioned that last time, Coco, it's, it's not even a problem. Just, you know, you're hungry, eat. Yes, but especially early on when you can't grow your own food yet, right? You just eat what you find. There's a good chance you'll be eating a lot of junk food, which means you'll be gaining weight. You gain weight, you're gonna get out of shape. You might get fat, you might get obese. It's not gonna be good for you. You're gonna get exerted a lot more. So this is a bit of a trap trait, right? If you can really control what you eat, it's a decent one. I would call this one a trap though. So I'll put this into C, C tier. Next we have pacifist. A lot of people actually told me they like this if they combine it with a uh, fast learner because this is 25 percent less xp for any of the combat skills right and with fast learner you get plus 30 percent so in general it's you know plus two Ugh. you know i am all about the combat traits this is not a good one for me but i can understand how with that build it can work so this one goes into c this one for me it's a c tier it cannot be higher than that all right next we have prone to illness this bad boy basically makes you sick faster if you stay out there in the rain and the the bad weather and you probably will be out there a lot now to me personally if you wear like proper clothing so you're not sick so you don't get cold so you can't get really sick you know you don't get wet that much it's it's a it's a trait you can deal with for sure I, for my personal preference, I would put it higher up. But in general, I think most people probably shouldn't be playing with this one too much, especially uh, people who play it like for the first time and all that stuff. It's a B tier trait. I think it's like in the middle, it's, it's not the worst. Now, now next thing we have sleepyhead. Sleepyhead means you have to sleep longer. What does it do if you sleep longer? Well, you can't do as much stuff. You get tired faster during the day. When you are tired, you deal less damage. Like even the basic tiredness, it's like 50% less damage with melee weapons. Like what? <laughs> it's just it's just shit. No, this is a trap one for four points. It's not worth it. This is F tier for me. Like it goes down below. Having to sleep longer, getting tired faster because of that, you know, it's no. I don't, I don't like it. It's it's F tier, you know? There you go. And then we have Smoker. Smoker, all you need is find cigarettes, which you will. Even with extremely rare loot, you will find plenty of cigarettes to keep you living for months. Especially if you kill zombies and then you loot them. Lots of zombies have cigarettes. This, I will not actually put it into S tier. Even though I, I would. I personally would. But I can see how it can be annoying because it's like another... Uh, like another bar that you have to deal with, like hunger meter and thirst meter. Now you have a smoke meter, right? So this is high A tier for me. I personally would pick it every time. High A tier, right? Next, we have unlucky. What does unlucky do? Unlucky means you find 10% less rare items. It doesn't, uh, it doesn't make you get zombified or anything like that faster. No, just minus 10% rare loot which is like axes and katanas and stuff like that which for a lot of people is a big deal right you want to find good stuff even if you play with extremely rare loot now with louis wheel in the game you'll be finding a ton of things like there's there's so much stuff in louis wheel that you'll find stuff so before louis wheel i would put this into like c tier right because I really, really appreciated finding good, good items. But now with Louisville, because there's so much stuff, 
I'm actually putting this into like low A. And yeah, you probably hate me for that. But this is low A. Four points. It's it's worth those four points, you know? That's how it is. Next, we have two traits which you get five points for. The first one is asthmatic. This means faster endurance loss. What does faster endurance loss mean? You will get exerted faster when fighting zombies. And when you are exerted you instantly deal less damage much less damage your accuracy I believe goes down as well and all that stuff for me that's that's a killer i don't like that i like moving around a lot i like fighting zombies you know i'll be fighting hordes that's how i play this is half tier for me i don't like it you know anything that makes me Exerted faster, anything that makes me tired faster, it just goes down there. It's it's not useful. It's I don't like it, you know? Maybe I should put this one into like low C now that I think of it because of that. You know, because just you just need to sleep longer, but I, let's keep it in F. Maybe it's high F right now. Next one. A really annoying trait. Like it says, hey, you get five points. You panic when you perform first aid on yourself, right? Big deal, who cares? And you cannot first aid others, which in single player doesn't mean anything. In multiplayer, hey, they can first aid themselves, like, why not? But, but, there's a but, right? With this thing, you will slowly get stressed while bloody. And if you play Project Zomboy, unless you really wash yourself every day, and even if you, like, if you don't fight zombies, okay, maybe then... But otherwise, you will always be at least a bit bloody. And you will always constantly get stressed. And let's say if you're a smoker, you can, you can smoke cigarettes. You're going to be smoking like triple the, the amount of cigarettes if you use this one. Just to combat this thing. And of course, otherwise you can like read magazines and all that stuff. But this is like a trap trait. And it's really annoying to handle. I would put it into, uh, into low C. Like, really not worth those five points for all the hassle you'll be getting from this one. It's it's really not worth. All right. Next, we get the strength stuff. This one is feeble. It reduces your strength by two, which means uh, you have less carry capacity. Your knockbacks are not good. This, for me personally, it's a bad trait. I understand a lot of people don't play that much into combat so you're just gonna sneak around right you are not gonna you're gonna avoid all the fights and maybe maybe you just play with guns just playing with guns is not bad but keep in mind that if you play with guns you probably need to uh carry a lot of ammo with you so carrying capacity yeah decrease is not the best but still it's not the worst trade for the six points that you get for this so i'll put this into b I'm not gonna put it into C yet. I'm gonna put this one into B. And next we have high thirst. High thirst, I've explained this before. You have to drink the double amount of water per day, but there's water everywhere. Even after water has been shut down. I play with this one every time. It's free six points in my opinion. This is S tier trait. 100% S tier. Trust me on this one. Like it's, it's a no brainer to me. Grab this one, you get six extra points, you know, so you can get like some strong traits and all that later on it's look it's perfect all right next we have out of shape this is minus two fitness it's faster endurance loss and all that stuff again you know it's a problem faster endurance less fitness you get six points though you know for this one over here it's lower endurance you only uh, get four points for it oh no actually it's five never mind this one is six. You get one more point, but you lose. You basically on this one, you lose traits or you lose points in a tr not in a trade, but in a in a like in fitness here, which is hard to level up. This for me, F tier down here. It's F tier. It's it's where it belongs. It should stay there. Now next you have overweight. So overweight is just minus one fitness, right? And you can eat food. To gain weight, and or well, you, <laughs> you you don't eat food and you lose weight because you're you're overweight. I'm I'm stupid. Don't worry about that. So you lose you lose weight over here, right? 
and uh, you can you can work out and regain that one fitness. That one fitness is not the be the worst, you know. Six points personally, not my favorite one, but a lot of people take this because it's actually decently easy to overcome, and you do get six points. So I'm actually gonna put this into A tier. It's not my not my personal A tier, but in general, I think it does belong into A tier. It's it's a it's a decent trait that it's not that hard to overcome. Right? Right. Next, we have another, what I would call a trap trait. Restless sleeper. You know? Let's say, hey, Coco, six points, restless sleeper, it's fine. The problem is, with restless sleeper, you'll be waking up in the middle of the night. Right? You'll wake up in the middle of the night, like three in the morning, just being, hey, oh, you know, just wanted to wake up for a bit because it's, it's funny. And then you can't go to sleep till like five. And then maybe you sleep till like eight. Which means you already lost like two hours in the morning you could do something and then you get tired faster because you didn't really get a proper sleep. It's a trap trait. I wouldn't I wouldn't recommend this one. This is this is C C tier for me. Six points for this one? Nah. Nah, not worth it. Next, we have a slow healer. Hear me out on this one. Just don't get scratched, don't get touched, you'll be fine. If you break your leg, this is gonna be a real problem. Just don't break your leg, right? This You get six points for this. For me, this is high A tier. Like, I would even maybe put it into S tier. But since a lot of people here might be new players. A tier. Don't get injured. You'll be fine. Nothing to worry there. Then we have a slow learner, which means minus 30% xp for everything that's bad that is bad it's not the worst though because you'll still get xp you'll just level up slower if you have confidence in yourself that you can survive for ages that you don't need boosts to to i don't know any fighting skills anything like that to survive then you'll be fine with just slowly but surely leveling up right especially if you can read books and you can still kind of cancel things out with all that stuff because you you know you'll, you'll learn new things and uh like for farming and i don't know carpentry all that stuff it's, you're still gonna level you're just gonna take ages you're just gonna take longer so this is not the worst trait actually this is like a solid beat trait in the middle of there i personally not the biggest fan but it's a it's a decent one all right, next we have underweight. This one, again, it's just what, um, you know, just like overweight was. It's minus one fitness, right? And, you know, faster endurance loss and all that stuff. Once again, this one, you can you can fix. Just eat some more food. This You can get rid of this one in like first couple of days. Of course, the, out of the minus one fitness is still gonna remain, but minus one is not the worst, right? It's, it's not the worst. So this one is also A tier. These two, overweight and underweight, are easy to actually counter. So I'll put them up there. They can they can stay up there and they, they are decent. Now, next thing. You get eight points for this one. It is literate. You cannot read. Once again, same as with slow learner. If you don't really care about leveling up fast, with your skills like for for building like carpentry and first aid and cooking all that stuff then it's fine you just won't read books now the, the slight problem over here is for long-term survival if you can't read the how to use generator book you might have a problem right but maybe let's say you're going for just live in the woods and it's not that big of a deal just just live in the woods you won't have light sure you won't have freezers or anything like that It'll be fine, you know? It's not the worst trait, especially if you're playing on multiplayer or multiplayer illiterate. It's a does it's a solid A trait. Single player I would put into B. It's it's like in the middle of the pack, B trait. You do get eight points for it, which is actually very cool. Next, another one that you get eight points for is thin skin. For beginners, might not be the best, but after you play for a while, you will learn how to avoid zombies and how to not get scratched in combat. And this is not even a problem. Same as slow healer. This for me is like a top tier, top A tier skill. Like just 
don't get hit. These two could almost be S tier, right? But I'll put them into A tier because for beginners are not that good. You know, slow uh, healer and thin skinned. They're definitely up there though. Like 100%. Just, just don't get hit by zombies, you know? Kill them before they can kill you. That's, uh, <laughs> it's like, it's like saying, hey, just get good. Just, just get good. But still, no, this is, uh, once you learn how to play for a bit, this is really a trade that you will appreciate. Now we get to more problematic trades. You get 10 points for these bad boys. First one is obese. With obese, you lose two fitness. Two fitness is not the worst yet. Of course, you're gonna be slower when running because you're obese. And you're gonna be more prone to injury when like jumping over obstacles. And I believe zombies have a higher chance to trip you on all that stuff. But once again, this is a trade that you can fix in game. It's gonna take you a long time, but you can fix it, right? So I'm actually not gonna put this into what you would expect to be one of the lowest tiers because it'll be bad, right? I would actually put this one into. Let's, let's go with high C, actually, in this one. Because you can actually deal with it. You know, you can you can actually fix this, and it'll be fine. It's gonna take ages, but you can actually fix this, right? Now, the next one on the list, it's unfit. Unfit gives you minus four fitness, though, right? Much faster endurance lost. Unfit, not worth the 10 points, I think. It, it will take you ages in game to fix this. No, this is an F tier trade. You can, you can see where we're going with this, right? You can see with these ones. F tier, just a bunch of lungs. That's all we have, just a bunch of lungs. Now, next we have very underweight. Once again, same as with the beast, you can fix this, right? It's less fitness, you can fix this. I would say this one is easier to deal with than obese. And I don't think you're actually slower when running. Like with obese, with obese, I believe you can't even sprint. So you can just run, right? I think with this one, you I'm not sure about the sprinting part, but I think you're not slow down, right, when running. So this one goes into B tier. Low B tier for me. You can still fix it, right? It's there, you can fix it, so... It's gonna take you ages. You probably don't want to take any of these if you're an unexperienced player, but for experienced players, they can fix this and they can get there. Of course, it's gonna be a problem because, uh, you know, it's gonna be harder in fights and all that stuff for, for a long time, but eventually you can fix this. Now, next one is weak. This one is minus five strength. We all know strength and fitness, the hardest to level, right? Minus five strength. Like, you almost deal no damage, your pushback is crap. This is, it's F tier. I'm sorry, but it's just too much to overcome. It, it belongs into F tier, it's, it's where it should be. It's not worth the 10 points that you'll get for this, it's just... It's just not it, man. It's just not it. It's, it should stay there, you know? And then... <laughs> then we have death. Well, don't take it. Unless you're doing like a meme playthrough, unless you really want to challenge yourself, don't take it. You know why? With death, you cannot hear zombies. Which means, since you can't see behind yourself, a zombie can just walk up to you and give you a kiss on the neck from behind. Right? And we all know that that can be bad for you. You're gonna have a bad time. So... Even though this is this is like we should have like a new extra row for this. It was just a meme trait, right? Or a challenge trait. Meme or challenge or something like that, right? Then you then you can you can play it. But for like a serious playthrough, death is just not there. Alright? Now we still have this this icon over here. This I believe is for emaciated, emaciated, whatever it's called. Uh, the the point where you just have like Basically, no body weight anymore. You cannot take this one right from the start. I don't know why it's in the list over here, but it's it's basically, you know, you're just gonna feel like uh, garbage. Poor human being. <laughs> You'll barely be able to hold yourself up, uh, but it, it is how it is. Now, 
Have you learned something today? I hope you did. We have two S tier traits, only two. I would personally put these ones into S tier, like these. These two could be up there. Smoker, very easily uh, doable as well. Like you have, you have these, like all of these, like first five traits in A tier could be regarded almost as free points as well. After you're a bit more experienced, these boys could definitely jump up there, you know, but maybe when you're not that experienced yet, maybe not. All right. That's gonna do it. If you haven't actually seen me uh, ranking all the positive traits, there's gonna be a link in the description, so go check that out. And uh, hopefully you'll learn something from this. And uh, I was thinking maybe I'll do maybe I'll do some more of these uh, tier lists if you guys like it. We'll see. Anyway, thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.